Hi and welcome in this video. In today's episode I have something awesome for you because I just traveled back from Norway and I got my bag totally filled, just got out the plane and I want to repack it again because next week I'm going to Scotland and I want to show you what is inside my bag and what is inside my traveling bag in a plane. But disclaimer, don't try that at home. So this is something I do when I travel and I travel different than other people I think because uh, I was in Norway for a workshop and I was for testing there and I had uh, new Sony cameras with me and uh, plenty of stuff to do different things. When I travel just for myself for vacation or something I have not so much equipment with me but in this case I had a lot of equipment with me. So let's check what's inside the bag. So the bag itself it's an Extreme Plus uh, backpack. I have several um, from that brand. It's pretty cool. It's pretty big, um, it's nice in the back because it's very stiff in the back and very long. I'm, I'm a bit taller and I had a smaller at first um, and that one is pretty good and it, had, uh, it has different nice cases in which I can pack different stuff. So let's open it. The first thing I have is at the top there's a very big pocket and inside that pocket is my Tamrak cold case. I think it's called like that in English and it's pretty awesome. I checked a lot of cold um, pockets or cases um, and that one was the biggest one and the cheapest one as well. Cheap is relative, it costs like I don't know 70 euro or something but this is so big that I can put inside my A7R2 with battery pack, with a big um, lens on it, with an adapter as well and everything fits in that pocket. So that one is pretty safe on the top and when I go out um, photographing I usually have that one um, right next to the chest and the big backpack not with me or it stays in the car with just batteries or something inside. So that one is always with me and it's on the top. So. I need a bigger desk, I think. <laughs> so next thing I have, I got two batteries for the DJI Phantom 3. Um, they're in a LiPo safe bag. I bought this bag um, when I was in Australia and traveling last year. It's just for safety reason that it uh, don't get into flames or something in the plane and it looks pretty professional because usually I just have that one and uh, put it uh, in the security check <laughs> in that little box and then everybody says ooh what is that and then they read in the back oh it's a LiPo safety bag for batteries oh that must be pretty professional he's pretty cool okay go just uh, through the security check because those batteries look uh, pretty pretty dangerous <laughs> when you have them in the x-ray um, scanner they look like little they're just like those small little things with all those uh, cables on top. Oh, it's very dangerous. But if you have it just in the back, then it's safe. So then I have small batteries in my back. I have it for my, um, uh, for my how, how is it called, earphones. The big one, I have those noise canceling earphones from Bose, I think. They're the best. <laughs> earphones or headphones you can buy when you're flying because you just switch it on. I don't have it now on the backpack, but you switch it on and then it's just silence everyone. You can just listen to nice Hans Zimmer music or something when the plane takes off and you hear Dark Knight. That's awesome. So there's another pocket uh, in the front, the main pocket I call it. Um, there is my Koken or Kokin, it's French, uh, X-Pro graduated filter holder. It's pretty big. There as well is just the filter itself. I always have it in the in the case thing. There's the filter and it's pretty scratched already. I don't like the filter so much. So I'm working on my own glass filters, but we'll see how long it takes to get them. <laughs> then I have my own uh, neutral density filters. Pretty awesome filters, Forex by Jaworski. I don't know if you can buy them uh, when the video comes out internationally, but we are working on them or on it. So there's a um, thousand time, so it's 10 stops or something. Then we have 64 times darker and a polarizer as well, Forex by Jaworski, eight times. And there are just some rubber bands. You can always use them together with uh, some rubbish bags to just have some camera rain protection. I think we'll make a video of that or maybe the video is even out. Here are the plastic bags. 
Plastic bags are always good because you can use them with rubber band, as I already said, but as well you can just put rubbish inside. So you never leave rubbish at the spot and that is awesome. Away with that. So I have this nice blow thing. There is my Canon Legria and it's a nice V-Log cam and I sometimes use it for time-lapse uh, shots as well. And it's pretty cool, but the thing with Norway was I didn't found my charger and battery was empty when I arrived, so couldn't use it anyway. Then I have just some nice microfiber thing. Oh, don't fall down. Then I have an A6000 with me and um, with a Samyang 12 mm um, 2.0 f-stop. It's pretty nice, um, great camera. I did a lot of time-lapse uh, things with that and as well the V-Log. So that, that was my V-Log cam in Norway and it's a pretty great camera. If you like a video about A6000, comment section below. Or about something else in that equipment thing, comment section below. Then there is my A7S II. Great camera as well. I did uh, in Norway. I did a nice uh, northern lights shot out of the plane when we was flying. Uh, when we were flying, and I, I, I thought about, hmm, we are flying. It's dark. I think we can see the northern lights. And then I just <laughs> went to my backpack somewhere. It was a few rows uh, in the front, and then I just took the camera, pointed out of the window, put the ISO up to eighty thousand or something, and then I just uh, hit the record button, and boom, there they were over the clouds. You saw the nice. Uh, wing of the plane and it was an awesome shot. 4K, pretty smooth, great thing. Maybe it's on the channel, maybe not. I'll link it in the comment section below if I published it somewhere. It is nice. Um, on the camera is the 40mm 2.8 from Samyang. I had them with me um, for testing as well and they did pretty good. I did uh, a lot of nice uh, northern light shots uh, with the 40mm as well as time lapses and you can see Sometimes it's not that good to give me equipment to test because I destroyed the lens hood, but it's only the hood. It's made out of plastic and I think it's changeable. Um, yeah, it's broken. Never mind. Insurance has something to do. Okay, I put it there. No, I put it on the, in another thing. What else do we have? Oh, we have an 7200 4.0 Sony lens, pretty cool for just wildlife shots or something. I, I photographed or filmed some eagles, there were nice sea eagles in Norway. Um, I took a few shots of them. I usually have it with me, it's not that heavy, it's not that big, so you can have it with you. What else do we have? Some lens pen. Yeah, and that's it for that bag. So that's the stuff I have here. On the side pockets, I have a charger, always good in the plane. iPhone charger, always very important, not only for flying with the Phantom 3, but as well for charging. And Norwegian Airlines have uh, Wi-Fi on the plane, that's pretty cool. If it works, <laughs> on the first flight it didn't work. And on our last flight, <laughs> we had another plane which was like 30 years old or something. It had, had those old TV screens inside those, uh, how is it called in English? I don't know, those very old school, not flat screen time before. And one last thing I like about uh, the backpack as well and what I always have with me and when I go in the plane is my laptop. So here's a big pocket in the front and my laptop. For traveling I usually use the MacBook Air. I have a Pro as well. Um, when I have to do editing or um, editing a video I usually use a MacBook Pro. But in that case I have the Air with me because I'm writing on my third book and I'm about landscape photography and uh, then it's easier to have a lightweight um, laptop with me. It is pretty yeah, rough, it went through a lot of hard times, <laughs> I would say. And in the front thing, there's now one external drive, usually I have two with me. Um, I use the Lassi Rucked, I trust them, I never had problems with them, I have like five of those and um, they're pretty good. So on one are the photos and on the other are the uh, video stuff. And yeah, I got some SD cards as well. Those are the safety SD cards, so I usually leave all the photos and all the video material in one SD card, um, so I never uh, format it or something, so one is on the SD card and one is on the external drive, so I always have two copies, and then when I'm back in Germany or something, I make another copy and then I delete the SD card. I use the Sony SD cards, the 
what is it, 49 megabit, awesome shit. Yeah, they're pretty good and you can't use other SD cards when you want to film 4K, that's another thing. So, yeah, that's it for my equipment I have with me. So you see, I got like one, two, three cameras with me, few lenses, but that's all the stuff I use for testing. So the lenses I had with me for testing, um, what I had, for example, on the Azores Island when I was there on vacation uh, three weeks ago, I just used the A6000 with that lens and I had the A7R II with me for landscape shots, so only two cameras, and then I only have the laptop, few filters, but that's it. The tripod, when you uh, want to know where the tripod is, the tripod is always in the luggage you give away, so uh, it's very heavy, you can just put it inside, and if it's too heavy, the back, then I put it on my hand luggage, and if I have problems with the hand luggage um, when it's too heavy, which it always is, then I just put it in my pockets. That's pretty easy, so I have jackets with a lot of pockets. It usually works. It's such a bullshit. If you have fat persons on the plane, nothing about fat persons, but if you have fat persons on the plane, they are so heavy. So why can't my backpack be that heavy? I don't know, so whatever. Um, yeah, if you want to know something else, <laughs> then put it in the comment section below. Um, if you have questions about special equipment that I just put out here, then put it in the comment section below. And what are your experiences when traveling? What do you take with you? Post it in the comment section. And if you like the video, share it with somebody who might be interested um, as well, and we see us next week. Each Friday, there's a new video about photography. That was kind of a spontaneous video. I hope you liked it, um, because I just arrived. So I didn't, it was no fake. I didn't uh, repack it. Uh, I just opened it now. I'm coming back from Norway. So see you next week. Each Friday, there's a new video. And never forget, sag mal einstellen, Digga, und hau da rein. Okay, first things first, we are in the library. We're still in the library, so we have to switch to develop. Okay, hit that button. Now it's loading and now you have the files.